Um, my name is Jenna Bush. My film was The Groundkeeper. Uh, it was actually originally a student film. I shot it, um, I guess, between junior and senior year of college. It was about two years ago at this point. And um, it was actually originally an experiment with a new camera. I got a Canon 7D and I wanted to kind of take it out for a spin and it turned out into this whole story and we just kind of ran with it. A kite flies because of two things. The flow of air around and over its frame and, and the kite's resistance to, to that wind. I had, you know what, I just got a new lens. The old lens was 35 to 128, I believe it was. Who was the F shop on that? I'm gonna guess and say 5.6. Okay. I guess, yeah. Um, basically, I was just figuring it out, figuring out how it works, how it works with certain lighting, how it picks up certain colors and all that stuff. And um, that was also before I got a monitor, so I was like shooting with that little, you know, LCD screen and uh, yeah. To stay aloft, the air pressure falling under and over the wings must be equal. If it becomes unequal, the kite will begin to wobble. If the air pressure is not equalized quickly, the kite will fall. When directing, I learned how important it is to have a positive atmosphere um, and really encouraging and, and just make everybody happy because if, if people aren't happy, you're not going to get a good product, you're not going to have good energy on set, it's just so, and you're not going to get that great performance out of the actor that you want, so it's really important to, to have that positive um, atmosphere on set. Uh, and in terms of cinematography, I learned experiment. Don't, you know, don't just go by the book. Try, put a light in a random spot that you wouldn't normally have and then maybe you'll get like a really great shot, you know, just just go with it. There's no rules, there's just guidelines. Go out and, and make films, first of all. Don't, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm at this transition where I just graduated, so I'm torn between working on larger productions and working on my own stuff on the side. So, I mean, all the advice I've gotten, they always say, you know, do the larger productions, but make time. That's how you learn, that's how you get your stuff out there, that's the only way people, because you can be working on a larger production, and they're like, oh, you know, what film have we done recently? And you say, well, I don't know, I've been working on, I haven't really done anything, I've just been working on this larger production. So, but when you have something to show for it, people are like, oh, wow, that's good, you know, why don't you come with me to my next job? So definitely do your own stuff, um, and submit it to places, don't be afraid to try, and don't, get shot, you know, don't feel shot down by rejection. I've got plenty of rejection letters, so I mean, we all have to go through it and you will succeed if you want to.